Okay guys, today we're going to be doing a very interesting video demonstration. This is for those of you that are first timers, beginners, and painting your own um, projection screen uh, using the Crystal Edge technology screen. It's going to show you exactly how easy it is. Now, you have people that will come on YouTube and say, hey look, you got to go through this, you got to go through these robot uh, kind of paint stroke formations. You can't paint the screen from side to side. You can't do this, you can't do that, because this is going to leave streak marks in your screen and and it's going to cause your picture look the quality of your picture look really really bad all right so um in this demonstration i'm going to show you different tricks and cool ways to actually paint off your screen now you're probably curious exactly what how did i get the size um hold on for a minute i should have came over and set this up from the beginning i'm going to come out of this movie real quick and go over to um my uh my uh, actual wallpaper so you can see it from there all right, so I'm going to remove this altogether so you can see how this is done. Now, this is an easy trick on how to uh, get the proper size uh, from your screen because a lot of people, you know, they go with measuring the, the height and the width and all that stuff when it comes to actually painting a screen on their wall. This is the easiest way to do it. You get your projector like I have over here. You turn it on and you get the size image that the projector is going to project on your wall. This is the fastest and easiest way of making sure that you have the right size screen. So you turn your projector on and hit the wall with it. Now mind you, you don't want to use your, you know, you want to add, you want to run some kind of video format through it like a laptop or whatever because the size is going to change the minute the format comes through. So if you're going to be doing it in 1610 or 169 or you're going to be doing it in 4.3, you want to do all those adjustments while you have some kind of video format playing through the screen so that way you can get the proper screen size you want and you won't overlap or actually call it, what do you call it? over jumping your runway so you don't want to do that so easy to do you just take the frog tape as you can see I left a little bit of a one inch uh, um, uh, space in between because I don't want it to fit the screen perfectly uh, I want a little bit here and there just in case if I move the projector from left to right I'm not fighting with the projector just to get it on the very edge of it so I just leave a little bit of a one inch gap all the way around Alright, so this is very, very easy to do. So this is what you want to do is you want to take your frog tape over here. Let me go over to the floor. We're using stuff from the kit right now. From one, well, actually a kit that I made for myself. So this right here is the paint roller you're going to be using. Everyday paint roller. It doesn't make a difference if it's nap or foam. It doesn't really make a difference. And of course, I have my trusty frog tape. I love frog tape. And this is what I use to paint around the edges. Now this is fantastic. If you're going to be using this for a pre-existing projection screen, but today we're just doing it for the wall. For those of you that are doing a wall or any form of surface, this is what you want to do. And I have not done enough demonstrations using the wall. So we over here, we have a large container of Crystal Edge Technology screen paint. And there's my stirrer at the top. And to show you exactly how easy this is. So what you, what you want to do is turn your projector on. Uh, put some kind of format through it, video format, uh, your screen saver, whatever you're going to be playing, Blu-ray movie, whatever. So that way you can get the uh, cinema mode to react. In cinema mode, you'll be able to put the screen in like 16.9, like I said, 16.10, whatever size you desire. And then what you want to do is when you put your frog tape around, you want to leave a little bit of a gap there. So that way, you know, your screen is not directly sitting on the edge of the screen and that way somebody bumps your projector you're not sitting there fighting to get that screen right back in that in that viewing and those viewing corners you know you just want it just just so you have a little bit here so you can move the projector back and forth a little bit of forgiveness room all right so let me uh, um, block off the projector really quick real quick because I want to show you how we're going to paint this in very easy to do and I got a movie over here set up so I'm gonna come over here to my taskbar View tasks and get the movie right there and blow that up so we can watch that later on. All right, so show you how easy this is because you watch a lot of demonstrations and people say, Oh, you gotta you gotta do it this way, and it has to be done that way. And they want to make it sound so complicated. Over here, where you see these little pink spots right here. Now you see that? That's where I had little divots in the screen. I just took a little pink uh um, um a spackle. I just went in there, just covered it up, little holes in there. And this is actual drywall right here. So this part of the wall is drywall. So just show you how easy this is. And I got my uh, uh, 
the drop cloth that comes with your kit. Now this is a kit right here going out to a customer and you can see all the stuff that comes with it. You get your um, lead lights, which I have upstairs on the big screen upstairs. You get your frog tape, which is fantastic. You get a surface. Now this right here is a blackout cloth surface that will allow you to design your own fixed frame. If you decide you want to go down that route. Those of you who uh, rent, some of you can't paint on your wall. This is what this is. This is what this is perfect for because you can build your own uh, form of uh, um, own form of stretch um, um, fixed frame projection screen. You know, right from the surface right here, easy to paint over. You get your drop cloth, which you're seeing over there on the floor over there. Um, there is his paint right there, his Crystal H Technology screen paint right there, and of course you get. I mean to move that around like that. You get your. Uh, your rollers and replacement rollers, all that's right there. So, his kit is good to go. All right, so we'll come over here to the wall. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to paint. Anyone can paint this, you know what I mean? You don't have to be a professional. So, we'll go over here, take my top off, put it over there, take my paint stir, stir it up, that's all you have to do. This is why we don't add instructions in because it's very easy to do, that's it. Stir it up, grab my roller, any roller, any roller, it doesn't make a difference what kind of roller it is, people think you have to have these professional, smooth, whatever kind of rollers, no, no, you don't need all that, very easy to do, make sure I'm going to paint, I don't want paint to drip all over down the side of the wall, mess up my work, alright, so, there we go, get my corners, You can see this wall has some imperfections in it, but don't care. Paint will cover all that up. It'll mask all that. Make sure I don't have any. When I'm doing this, I don't want to get any paint on the other end of the wall down below. There we go. Some of it just stripped off, but. Miss my white wall. Oh, some of it got on there. All right, I'm not worried about it. I'll go over it with some uh, some bare white paint and get it cleaned up. I would advise that when you do this, like run some uh, drop cloth right along there and just tape it off, which I didn't do, which I should have did, but I didn't do that. I should have did that, but I didn't do it. But I'll just get some white paint and just go over that. I would advise you taping off that area right there. All right, there we go. I'm not worried about it. Just leave my jacket here. I'll just take my finger. Wait it. So later on, what I'll do is, I'll just get some bare one coat, and I'll just boom, 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 go over top of that, and it's done. So I'm not really worried about that. That's all I have to do. All right, there we go. Oh, sorry about that. I got the camera pointing in another direction. My bad. Sorry about that. My bad. Sorry about that. I am painting and holding a camera at the same time. So it kind of shows you exactly how easy it is. If I can basically hold a camera at the same time and paint this, it shows you how easy it is. So that's what you do. Get around your corners and stuff. That's all. Basically about it. And you just go over the screen, your surface, which is going to be your screen. This isn't the best surface in the world because it was never sanded, but just gives you a good idea exactly how easy it is. Because I don't do enough demonstrations of me uh, of me painting uh, a wall. Usually it's a sheet of cardboard or something like that that you see me do. But I never do uh, 
on any demonstrations of me actually literally just painting a wall. All right, there we go. Get some more of that on my roller. Like I said, very easy to do. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. You know, you got a lot of people, like I said, they'll come on YouTube and they'll make it sound like it's it's really hard and you, you have to paint it this way and it has to be painted that way. And if you don't paint it right, you're going to get streaks and marks all over your screen. They want to make it sound so complicated. Now look how I'm painting this. I can paint it this way, I can paint it that way, I can paint it down here, I can paint it here, I can paint it here. It doesn't make any difference, you know. You don't want something that's going to be complicated. It becomes complicated, you don't want to do it. So, you know, if you're watching my videos and you want this to be one of those complicated videos, you know, you're not going to get it here. Very easy to do. Get my focus there to act right a little bit. Sorry if I'm, I'm moving the camera out of the way every time I'm painting. I apologize for that. Get that focus act right there. Focus wants to put, wants to fight with me a bit today. Put more in the roller. That's basically about it. So it's very easy to do. Very, very easy to do. And you know, when 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 you had like a lot of these companies that came out when they first started off, yeah, they made some really complicated instructions, man, on painting the screen. If you ever had delivery, not to put the company down of doing a goose screen, you know what I'm talking about. Goose Rain had some insane uh, um, instructions how to paint a screen. And I guess everybody else just followed along this, the same line, you know. Everybody else started giving off these, like, you got to do this and you got to do that. And it has to be done this way and it has to be done that way. I guess to sound more professional, but, you know, all you're doing is just making it hard for the consumer to understand what he's doing. Consumer wants something that's going to be easy affordable and it's going to look professional he doesn't want something that's going to cost him an arm and a leg he doesn't want something that's going to be impossible to paint in he doesn't want that he wants something that's going to be simple and easy you know if his teenager can paint that screen in you know that's what he wants something easy all right so come over here real quick Make sure I got all my, my areas, that's basically about it. So I'm doing is making sure I got all my areas in. Let's go over it real smooth like so. Very easy to do. That's it. Just make sure you got all your areas. Make sure you got any little white spots coming out that's from the surface itself. All right, so I got a little mark here on the wall, but I'm not worried about that. I'll go over that with some, some bare one coat. Cover that over. That's it. We're done. All right. So put that right there. There's my screen. I'm back up here real quick so you can see it. Very easy to do. And you know, if you're watching some of these demonstrations where people will take a heat gun or they'll take a, to, to dry the screen even faster, or they'll say something like, uh, um, I think I got paint on my lens. Yeah, I did. I did. I got a lot of paint on my lens. Hold on for a minute. Hold on. Yeah, got paint on my lens. Whew. All right, so anyway, so they'll tell you that you need a heat gun or it takes about a day to dry. Lie to you not, a goose screen took 24 hours to dry and up to six months to cure. Like, <laughs> I lied to you not. Literally took that long to dry that screen. All right, so we're all done here. So what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll get our, our, uh, our, our take our paint tape off. Right there. Okay, let me make sure I don't go check out my wall. Uh, so you guys can see this. Sorry if my camera is having a bit of some focus issues. I do apologize. All right, let me make sure I grab this. I'll put this behind.
behind me over here on the floor. Voila! We are done! We are done. Look at this. There it is. There's my screen. Very easy to do. All right. Move this real quick. All right. Uh, let's go over here and let's start the movie. Of course, the wall's going to be a little shiny because, like I said, we just painted the screen, so it's going to be a little wet. And as you can see, remember I told you that you leave about an inch when you put your paint tape in because that way somebody bumps your projector, projector gets off center, you know, you have enough playroom to get it right back in the center. If it's too far over on the edge, the problem you're going to have is that you're going to be fighting each corner just to get it perfectly just right. You know, it's going to be a pain in the neck. So I just leave a little bit of playroom in there. All right. Let me turn my speakers on here. Like I said, the screen's going to be a little shiny because it's wet. Just painted it. But as you can see, fantastic. Gonna have some bright areas. That's from the projector. But like I said, once it dries, you won't see any of that. It's going to look fantastic. I'm going to be doing another demonstration off the screen when it's fully dry. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But as you can see, very easy to do. You know, and these are just some tricks on how to do it. Now, if you're curious about uh, your projector, like what size screen you could possibly get for it or from it, or if you're basically thinking about um, uh, doing some projecting, projection shopping, shopping for a projector, um, at the bottom of the comment section, I will leave a link to a, a website called Projector Central, which I do love. Uh, projector Central has this um, screen calculator that allows you to punch in the model number of your projector and then you get a virtual room which will allow you to push back and get the proper size that you need for your screen if you choose you want to do it that way also too if you're looking for a refurbished projector just to let you know that all my projectors that I use are refurbished I buy nothing brand new um, I know a couple of good websites where you can actually go in and get some a very good refurbished projectors for pretty much nothing Now when you give you a screen that like kind of a one inch uh, kind of a playroom, this allows you to get that borderless um, screen. If you want a borderless uh, projection screen, you can do it when you do it that way. You gotta give it that one inch away from the screen and that will give you that borderless look. Look the angle gain on the screen looks fantastic. Look at that. Now you can see very easy to use uh, basic instructions you just open stir and paint that's basically about it and you're done and our kits come with everything you got the frog tape that gives you that laser cut edge look at my edge my edge looks fantastic all the way around paint it on any surface that you want I know I do a lot of demonstrations I mean painting it on cardboard and plexiglass and stuff like that never actually did one on drywall to show you guys so now this is a fresh sheet of drywall right here and you guys can see for yourself how fantastic it looks and as the screen gets less and less shinier as you can see that's the paint itself drying so it takes no time at all for it to dry 
Now if I throw a fan up here and come down in about, about a minute or two, it's already dried. Now I'm gonna come over here real quick. I'm gonna take this off really fast, right here. And I'll show it to you where we have it in the full screen mode. Now this is the full screen mode right here. Uh, this is where I was showing you how when you first hit the screen, you wanna use some kind of video format to, um, to hit the screen so you can actually get the actual size of the screen you're gonna paint. Because one of the problems people do when they have projectors is um, they'll buy the projector, they'll figure out in their head what size the screen should be, or maybe they might uh, calculate it in their head what they think the projector might be and might not be by the size and distance, and then either they'll over jump the runway or basically under jump it. So the screen won't come out the way they thought it would. Either it'd be too big or too small, something will go wrong. If you do it this way, the way I showed you, where you basically hit the projector, some kind of video format, hit the wall, get the size of the screen you're actually going to get on your wall and then tape around it, this is what you get. Now, if you see, look, I got that one inch micro thin border around my screen all the way around. This is what I have on my wall, that one inch micro thin border. Now, mind you, if somebody pushes my screen or pushes my projector or goes out of, it goes out of focus or out of balance, whatever may happen, I have a little bit of play room in there just to get it lined just right. Look at that micro thin border, it looks, it looks sick. It looks beautiful. And it gives you that borderless screen effect. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Witch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. You know, day by day, I want to give you guys more information on different tricks on how you can actually paint and design all different forms of projection screens. <clears throat> Excuse me about that. As I said, you have to think outside the box when it comes to our screen paint. Everything and anything is possible. I'd like to thank you all for watching.